So, what does a naked does when he's stranded? He just makes. So, so go. Purple. What's next? Blue. What else? I was looking for more ways to keep Kessel active and entertained at the same time. The first setup led to about two and a half weeks of changes and tweaks, and it now looks like this. And now, let me show you how it all happened. After a very successful test from yesterday, I stepped this into this. So I'm in the process. I'm gluing circles. Uh, what I did is I created a template and then folded the aluminum foil over this and just cut around. It was a bit tricky. And now I'm gluing them and I have to figure out how to take a wire adapter, which I have an idea for. So, let's glue the first three ones and test it out. So the first test definitely worked very well. As you can see, I glued a few more and I'm gonna cut six more, glue them and then set up the wires. The wires go, so I made a small hole here, sorry, small hole here, and just the wire goes under, you can see. And it's glued here. This is an electric tape, conductive tape. Well, let's make six more. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fold, this aluminum fold is big enough to have three of them, one after the other like this. And I'm gonna fold it into two and then cut it around this. This way I'm gonna get six in one cut. Fold it into six and now I'm just gonna use scissors and cut around it, making three, uh, making six new circles. Well, the funny thing is, it takes, it's really hard to separate them. Let's see if cutting them gets them combined somehow. Okay. I tried using a template, but moving it around made more mess than the hell. So I painted it as best as I could. Creating the LED display was a lot of fun, and for diffusing I used baking paper. They work really great. Blue. Oops. Try again. Try again. Green. Blue. So right now we got an UNO, we got the MPR one to one, we got four addressable LEDs inside of this, an MP3 player, MP3 player, and now I got a shield for the UNO, so I'm gonna put the shield and move all the wires to the shield. First step is done, I got a socket for the MPR one to one, like this, yes, like this, and um, did I make a mistake? Yes, I did. <laughs> Take two. <laughs> now it's in place and I got a socket for the NPR121. Everything's sorted and working. You can see the LED is working. If I touch here, it go all for red. MP3 is soldered. And uh, now let's make a box for all of this. I did not take any photos while making the box, but you can see the shape of it. I left one side open since I need to be able to plug the battery and so on. And the box is mainly to protect the setup from being stepped on. The code is pretty straightforward. To communicate with the MP3 player, I use software serial on pin 8 and 9. This model is really easy to use and the audio feedback is a great add-on to the game. I use the FastDead library for the addressable and the Bear Conductive library for the MPR121. If you never used one before, I got a great video for that. Link on the screen and in the description below. Each time a game is started, a random color is selected and shown on the LED. If the correct pad is touched, another color is added. If the wrong pad is touched or one is left, 
it's a fail. And when all four are attached correctly, it's a win. When I started this project, what I had in mind was creating a big Simon-like game with more than just four colors and spread across the room so I can have guests and run around. The major obstacle was the wiring and I had no desire to go into wireless. So the next best thing was to create a surface, which is what I ended up doing. After seeing his ninja move, I realized I got a better result, one that will help Kesem work on his balance and blending of moves. I had a few suggestions given to me, like adding physical rolling element for the color picking, making it look similar to the Twister game, also adding end foot instructions. And I thought of adding points as well for successes versus fail. But for now, I'm super happy with the result. Hope you liked the video and if you haven't done it by now, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, leave a comment and see you next time.